Hello everyone, how are you? Today we are going to discuss in this lecture the part 2 of saponins. So talking about the learning outcomes, at the end of this lecture you will be able to classify saponins and differentiate between steroidal saponin and tritaphenoidal saponin and you will be also able to explain the biosynthesis of saponins. So coming to the classification, in our last lecture we have seen uh, that saponins are the glycoside which upon hydrolysis gives the sugar part that is known as glycon and non-sugar part which is known as a glycon or sepogenin and sugar can be of any type like uh, glucose, arabinose or xylose. Now saponins are mainly classified based on the chemical structure of sepogenin that is a glycon into two types that are uh, steroidal saponins which are found to be neutral in pH, that's why they are also known as a neutral saponin. And the second one is triterpenoidal saponin, which are found to be acidic in pH. And because of the presence of uh, various acidic functional groups, triterpenoidal saponins are also known as acidic saponins. Now, talking about the steroidal neutral saponins, this they contain the glycon part, which is steroidal sepogenin with uh, spiropetal side chains. Spiropetal, that means the two rings E and F, they are called ketel because they are attached through two oxygen atoms and are called spiral because they, they, they are not in the same plane. And this group of uh, saponins are comparatively less distributed in nature as compared to triterpenoidal saponins. And they are mainly used as precursor for the partial synthesis of sex hormones and corticosteroids. The drugs containing steroidal saponins are such as uh, diosgenin, which is available from the Dioscorea species, and second example is sarsaponin, which is available from uh, sarsaparilla roots. Now, talking about triterpenoidal acidic saponins, these are the saponins where the glycon part contain triterpene structure with 30 carbon atoms uh, which are attached with several oxygen atoms or oxygen containing functional groups. I would like to mention here that uh, triterpene, we have a separate lecture on triterpene and uh, the chemistry of triterpene and uh, various classification of triterpene. So I am not going to discuss in details what is triterpene and all, just remember triterpene they contain 30 carbon atoms and when they contain oxygen in it they are known as triterpenoids. So you can see here triterpenoidal saponins means they contain triterpene 30 carbon structure as part of their glycon plus oxygen atom uh, attached to it. They are comparatively more distributed in nature as compared to steroidal glycosides and uh, triterpenoidal acidic saponin, uh, particularly the sepogenin part, can be further classified into two types. The first one is the tetracyclic triterpene, which belongs to dembrane family, for example, protopenaxodiol, penaxodiols and penaxotriones. Look at the structure, they have tricyclic ring. But if you count the number of carbon, they have a total of 30 carbon. Now, this name may be uh, misleading sometimes. You may feel like it is written as diol. We know diol means uh, having the two hydroxyl group. But the structure shows uh, it contains three hydroxyl group, this one, this one, and this one. Okay. But you have to see the name is proto, that means the it's a pre structure of this panaxodiol. So it undergo dehydration okay, and then form from the protopenaxodiol it forms penaxodiol. So in penaxodiol you can see it has two hydroxyl group. The second class is pentacyclic triterpene which belongs to olinane family. For example, quillic acid you can see it is pentacyclic in nature. So if you see the structural arrangement, one class that is the tetracyclic uh, triterpenes which belongs to dembrane family okay uh, they are tetracyclic in nature and the uh, triterpenes that belongs to olinane family they are pentacyclic in nature but what is common in both of them is the number of carbon atoms the number of carbon atom is 30 carbon 
whether it is in pentacyclic form or tetracyclic form now regarding pentacyclic triterpenoidal acidic cytogeny they are either derivatives of alpha and beta uh, alpha or beta amyrin amyrin is an organic compound either of two isomeric terpenoids formed in some uh, vegetable oils and resins so you can see the difference between the alpha amyrin and beta amyrin which differs mainly in the arrangement of carbon atoms or okay, methyl group in case of alpha amyrin the carbon number uh, 19 it contains one methyl group and 20 contains one methyl group okay whereas in case of beta amyrin both the methyl groups are attached to the same carbon that is carbon number 20 These are two examples of triterpenoidal uh, acidic supplement. Now, can I ask you one question here? Which among this represents uh, 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 the olinane type triterpenoidal acidic supplement? Can you tell me? Is it the panaxocyte A or the acetocyte? Yes, the correct answer is acetocyte because the olinane type contains the pentacyclic ring sorry so you can see it has the pentacyclic ring so they comes to the olinane type and it is attached to three sugar moieties this is trisaccharide now coming to biosynthesis of saponin glycosides the biosynthesis of saponin glycoside is same as that of cardiac glycosides okay so it starts from acetate from malonic acid to squalene and the squalene is formed uh, by head to tail conjugation fashion of isoprene NH. Once again I would like to mention you that uh, we will discuss what is head to tail conjugation fashion of isoprene unit in a separate chapter that is under triterpenes, terpenes and terpenoids. So I am not going to discuss here. Then the squalene further converts to either triterpenoid or spiroketal steroids. For example, here it is diastenine containing the spiroketal steroid structure as part of sepogenine. And we have the beta amyrene, which is a uh, pentacyclic triterpenoid. So, with this, we finish our lecture here today. And these are some of the references. If you want to study further, you can follow these references. Thank you so much.